Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is Bubba Wallace's 2019 Victory Junction Gang throwback to Adam Petty's number 45 car um, that he used to run back in the Arca Remax series. I think it was what it was, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is the only unique part. It does come with a Victory Junction card, which is really cool. It says text Bubba to 36413 or visit victoryjunctiongang.org slash donate now. So kind of a neat way to donate to this camp. Um... You know, Adam Petty um, obviously passed away young, but his dream was always to have a camp for children with disabilities and, um, you know, uh, basically making it so they can have a, a normal week of camp and that they've got the ability to do things they normally could. And um, obviously after his death, Kyle really invested into that and made sure that happened. And um, it's now 15 years and do, doing really well. So it's very, very cool um, that they were able to get that um, done that way. So anyway, it does come with a standard elite box. Um, let me check the quantity here. One of 208 of the Darlington throwback cars. <coughs> Excuse me. So this paint scheme is one of the, I don't know what the word would be. Everyone likes to use the word. It's pretty. I wouldn't say it's pretty. It's unique color wise. Um, not the prettiest scheme, you know, orange, purple, yellow, green, and um, orange, purple, yellow, green. Okay, that's it, yeah. But yeah, um, there's four different colors on it, and it, it's unique. Um, it does look nice, and it is kind of nostalgic, but I would not put this on my top ten paint schemes of the year because, to me, the nostalgia factor can't be the reason it wins. It has to have some quality to the paint scheme. And again, the color scheme is very unique. I very I do really like this color scheme, but it's not going to make my... My, it might be barely in the top 10, but it's not, I don't just do it by nostalgia base. So anyway, just letting you know kind of my thoughts on paint scheme there. But anyway, on the front, we get, you can see the orange, We've got a little purple kind of swoosh here. Um, there you see the number 43 in that nice yellow uh, font or yellow color with the classic petty font. 15 years, the Victory Junction gang. Um, you see Pioneer down there. We got the American Ethanol Ring, U.S. Air Force. Um, looks like we got some impact what does that say? Transportation impact. And then we got safety clean as well. We got the Mack trucks on the uh, post as well. Uh, on the back, we got feel, uh, feel Your Heart Race at Victory Junction Gang slash donate. And then Allsco and McDonald's on the rear. Um, <clears throat> in the back here, we do have our uh, fuel cell, DIN number 83, and then Worldwide Technology on the back, which is awesome that they stepped up last year and gave him a primary sponsorship. I thought that was really awesome that he was getting that. Um, I hope they can use that and improve the team this year, but we will see. Uh, I do think there there's some things that they can do to improve, but I do think they, at the end of the day, Bubba Wallace will need a lot of improvements, um, and so will RPM before they're ready to win races. So uh, Down the right side, you can see the purple here, number 43 again, and then we get back to the orange on the front. So on the hood, you can see we got Victory Junction Gang's 15th anniversary. Um, then we got the Camaro front end, black splitter, all orange nose. And if you saw my Chase Elliott Napa filters um, review, you'll probably understand exactly what ticks me off about this car. Not much. Good looking car, but engine details in there. But why is the hood purple? Not underneath, it's black. But just around the edge, it's purple, which isn't a big deal most of the time. Here's why it is. So you get it closed, and you can see a purple line there. And if it sticks up a little bit, you can see a little purple line there. So it's mostly that when you get it closed and it doesn't seal quite right, you can see that purple line. It does stick out. So I'm not a fan of that. I don't like having to see that line, that purple line there. Um, it's just an imperfection. And, you know, if you know anything about diecast collectors, imperfections are the one thing that they notice more than anything else. Um... Again, am I going to sit here and say that I'm going to send the die cast back and it's unacceptable? No. But, um, you know, it's one of those things. I will always point out the flaws in a, in a die cast and some things that they can do better. So, uh, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Not much else to see on it. It's a pretty good looking uh, throwback for Bubba Wallace. Um, it looks real nice. This one is one of the keepers. I had uh, William Byron's throwback and I wasn't impressed at all with it. So, I, um, I just sold that one on eBay. Um, I just didn't, you know, I, I didn't like it to the point where I wanted to keep it. The Flames of Independence car, however, <laughs> that didn't go anywhere. So this one will go right near that one with the Air Force car as well. So um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. 
a thousand subscribers and I'm doing another collection update. Um, and heck with it. Let's uh, let's do it at 9:50. I will I will do a video walk around of my snowmobiles because that'll be fun for me. And uh, you know anybody else that does any snowmobiling or has never seen them or not doesn't understand them or anything like that, just be fun. I just enjoy showing things off, so I wouldn't mind showing them off. So at 950, I will show off my snowmobiles. If I'm on the trip, it'll be after, just so you know. So if it happens sometime this coming weekend or when this posts, it'll be this exact weekend. It'll come the next week. But 950, we'll do uh, a walk around of the snowmobiles, and at 1,000, we'll redo the collection review. As I said, it will be a little bit smaller, but to me, it's just as good as it was the first time. I really like it the way I've got my collection right now. Missing a couple little gems here or there, but for the most part, I got it right where I want it. So, uh, again, thank you all for watching. Appreciate the support, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.